this is the Hemin and welcome to another new video. In today's vlog, I'm going to do another practice with gouache in my sketchbook. So a few weeks ago, we went to Botanic Garden in Mount Lofty near Adelaide. And I didn't expect to see so many Asian hydrangeas there. Even though I grew up in an Asian country, but I... I haven't seen that kind of flowers much in my life before. In case anyone's new here, I moved to the Southern Hemisphere. The country is Australia three years ago. So I've seen so many Australian hydrangeas around the here. They are really really common flowers during summer. In December and January, they are really really pretty. But I'm more more obsessed with Asian hydrangeas because I haven't had many opportunities to see that kind of flowers um, so when I saw them for the first time in my life in person I found that really magical also I really really love the fluffy shapes of petals and leaves when I saw that kind of hydrangeas in Mount Lofty they actually motivated me to practice drawing uh, more often lately so these are the first hand drawing in my sketchbook i drew them just after we went to botanic garden and a few weeks later i attempted to draw hand in different style this drawing has a bunch of four petals and they are more roundy compared to the uh, previous drawing that i showed just before currently i like the style more I have drawn hydrangeas on the physical paper and my drawing tablet a few times but I've never painted them with gouache or watercolor before so I don't know how my paintings will turn out eventually but I really hope you guys enjoy watching my process of doing this practice and painting before we get started I want to unbox a parcel that came just before so it is from a jewelry brand called Ana Luisa. Actually, exactly a year ago, they sent me a few pieces of jewelry as a gift. And I didn't expect it that they wanted to send me a gift again. So I'm very excited to see what I received this time and I cannot wait to see. The first one is Hana bracelet. I believe it is inspired by flowers. When I actually had to pick my top 10 pieces, I considered between this Hana bracelet and the Rana bracelet, but I haven't seen the bracelet for a while on their website. And I thought this Hana bracelet is a new collection. I'm really happy about my decision. I think the flowers and pearls together look really, really cute and super adorable. The second one is. Oh, a pair of adorable earrings that has the stars. The name is Oshi. It sounds like a very Japanese. I'm just curious. Oshi means a person who you support and someone you're a fan of. I think this design, the name, sound interestingly related. The last one is another bracelet. It has a little heart here. And it is called Shinju. I'm pretty sure it means heart in Japanese. I think everything looks so lovely and romantic to wear every day for a daily look, uh, especially for February because Valentine's Day is coming really really soon. So if you want to treat yourself, please check out their shop. I'll leave the link in the down description box.
It is on day two. I just remembered that someone asked me about what brushes I use on my recent gouache painting videos. They are my favorite brushes for gouache. I use them all the time whenever I paint gouache. Every time I think it is the best quality of the brush that I ever had in my life and it is just so perfect for the medium. I believe they are from a Japanese brand, so it says Tana. And I don't know how to read this kanji. I don't know where you can purchase these brushes online. I actually got them uh, very luckily. I got these brushes from a mystery box called Upgrade about eight or nine months ago. Upgrade sent random art supplies and I tried their subscription service for a month for a YouTube video. I really didn't expect it I would get this such nice quality, practical, useful art supplies. So when I opened the box and saw these brushes, I was really really happy. When I visit Japan, I really hope to find the same brushes. Today I tried to paint in different style to figure out which style I prefer. So yesterday I painted from bright to dark. I didn't shade much, I wanted to finish with line art. For these two paintings, I did the same way of adding layers. But for this one, I started from dark to bright. And for this one, I started from bright to dark. And generally for both pages, I tried to make the style uh, simplified. When I just finished this page yesterday, I thought these illustrations look really cute, fancy, and unique. I'm really wondering which style do you guys prefer?
Today it is a Friday and I just finished the one painting of another high dirinja. I tried to paint slowly more details of the petals than last time and this is the photo for today's reference and a few times I actually checked the previous page to see mainly to remind myself how I painted the leaves. Every drawing turned out really differently, but I enjoyed painting the same thing in different style very much. I think it was really really fun. This year, I hope to have some time to develop my traditional art style. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my process of painting hydrangeas. I also really wanted to mention that while I was painting, I was really happy about this bracelet. These flowers look like daisies and also they remind me of each single petal of hydrangeas. I think it was a really cute and perfect gift in this vlog. That's pretty much about today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful, lovely day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!